Hello everybody, welcome to 321 Sportscast. My name is Tracy Rayum. Today I have with us in studio Cassidy Cutshell, formerly of the Melbourne Bulldogs and the University of South Florida Bulls. How are you doing today, Cassidy? I am great, thanks for having me. Well, I appreciate you taking a few minutes to stop by and chat with us. We did a Future Star post on you a few months ago. Probably caught you by surprise. We had yes. some intel on you, but um, what'd you think of that Future Star post we did on you in general? It was awesome because I just graduated, so it really made me like look back on my career of dance, and it was just really exciting to see some recognition because dance and cheer don't get a lot of recognition, and we work really hard, so it was a big part of my life. Okay, well, she gave it away. She's in the dance and cheer business. She has been her whole life, so as you know here at 321 Sportscast, our mission is to cover all sports, all ages, all levels, and that kind of thing. And we believe that dance and cheer are two of the biggest and coolest sports in Brevard County. So with that said, Cassie, tell us a little bit about growing up here in Brevard County, uh, where, where it all started for you. I believe we spoke off camera and you said you started off in cheer, right? So tell us when that started and how long it went and who you cheered for. Yeah, so in my very beginnings, my twin brother was on the flag football team at West Melbourne, the little recreational league, and so I cheered for his flag football team. I wasn't a big fan of the outside and the heat, you know, Florida sun. I was also very pale, so I got sunburned all the time. So my mom put me in a few dance classes, and I liked that a lot better. The air conditioning was a lot easier to deal with. So I started at Heather's Dance Studio, local um, dance studio around here. I went to a few other ones, and then I found my home at Dance Media All Stars at around the age of seven. And from there, I was there till, I don't know, so long. And Dana did so many amazing things, and she was the one who told me to dance in college. And so I thank her and helped her. She helped me get where I was today. She helped me, you know, try different things. In high school, I cheered for the Bulldogs. That was really exciting. But then I just found my love in dance and really focused on it. So it was the sun that was the reason that yes. transferred you from. <laughs> what, what, for some of the people that don't know the difference, and, and, um, there is a distinct difference. What are some of the differences or what was the transition like between cheerleading to dance? Was it a hard transition? Is there a major difference or is there not a major difference? Tell us a little bit about the difference of those two sports. Well, I think both teams work super hard in like what we do, but with dance, we stay a lot more on the ground. <laughs> we don't do any of the flying, but we do a lot of tumbling. It's just maybe like dance is a little bit more artistic in some ways. It's more of an art form where cheer is definitely more you know, sports heavy, like limp, it's gonna be in the Olympics soon. So cheer had a lot of heavy lifting and stuff and dance was a little bit more individualistic and artistic, but both are great sports and I yeah. loved both, but dance was just more, I guess, suited my personality and my strengths better. So you went from uh, cheer to dance and you said you were enrolled at Dance Mania for a little while. When did that start? And uh, we've had Dance Mania on here. Hi, Dana, hi, Danae. <laughs> so we've had them on here. Tell us a little bit about Dance Mania um, and your experience while you were there. Yeah, Dance Mania was amazing. I owe it all to Dana. I love her, she knows that. <laughs> but uh, yes, hi Dana. <laughs> but I started when I was, I think around eight and I started competing. It was one of my very first um, experiences with competing and I loved it. She taught me palm, jazz, hip hop. She taught me the whole nine yards. And then around 10th grade, she sat me down in her office and I will remember this day forever. She said, do you want to dance in college? And I never thought I was good enough before. And she instilled the confidence and gave me the tool sets. And she started helping me, you know, branch out to different colleges. And I found my home at USF and it was the best three years. <laughs> now, correct me if I'm wrong, Dance Mania competes at a pretty high level nationally in some of these tournaments. Did you get to travel on anywhere like Vegas or anywhere mm -hmm. cool? And how did your teams do? Did you ever win a national championship or anything like that? Well, Dance Mania has won more national championships than I can count, right honestly. Up. But I went to Tennessee, Atlanta, Texas, Las Vegas. We went everywhere. And the best um, one of the teams I've ever been on is we got third in the world at our big ending of the year world competition. So that was wow. really exciting. Now, was dance a scholarship opportunity for you? Did it, is that what took you to USF? Did you get a scholarship? No, uh, at the end of the year, we get like a little bit of a scholarship back, nothing like too crazy, but it's a little bit back. But no, what brought me to USF is I knew one of the assistant coaches was actually a Dance Mania alumni as well. So I felt comfortable with her and it was, got a new coach when Co Stephanie started at that first year that I was there. And so it was like a budding program and really exciting. And it really more was the academic side what brought me to USF and the healthcare opportunities, but it ended up being a perfect, um, like combination of dance and academics. Okay, so tell us a little bit about USF because dance is like most other sports. A lot of kids can do it through high school, but you, you made it to that next level where you're out there performing in front of big football crowds and basketball crowds and 
competition, things like that. What's it like dancing for uh, competitively dancing at a Division One school in front of crowds? And there's a lot of girls that probably aspire. You know, it doesn't end at 18. You have a chance to go do this in college. So what is that experience like? What is the four years? By the way, she just graduated. So what has those four years been like for you as far as dance? It was amazing. It was honestly the coolest thing was I saw myself on ESPN for the first time. I was very oh. small, very little. But my parents recorded it, and it was a fun thing to look back at. But it was just more like you get a sense of belonging almost. Like I feel like I, I felt like I was a USF bull. Like I was a part of it. It was something so important. And it was just amazing to look at Raymond James. We got to dance in a professional stadium awesome. and look out into the crowd and see everyone. And you just feel so a part of it. Like I remember I would watch the games and you know be so sad if something happened or we'd be so happy if, you know, we felt like we were in it, we were playing the football game. So that was one of the most exciting things. And I loved basketball. I didn't know anything about basketball before. And now I love it and we, it was just really exciting. It opened your mind up into so many different things. That is awesome. So the next phase of life for you is, uh, I believe you said you're going to be going off to medical school at a school in, uh, in Chicago or a mm -hmm. suburb of Chicago. Um, what is what is in the near future for you with that? What are you aspiring to be in, exactly in the medical field? Um, I'm going to be a podiatrist, so I'm going to podiatry school. So if you need foot care in a few years, please hit me up. I will need new clients. <laughs> but I would love to keep the option of dance open. Collegiate coaching would be fun if I ever came back, you know, doing stuff at Dance Mania. Or if I wanted to go into the pros, that'd be awesome. There is an NBA team up there. Mm -hmm. So I'm trying to leave it open. But for right now, school is going to be my focus and getting adjusted into that first year of medical school. Okay, so we know that you're very smart on the books. We know that you're very athletic on the dancing tip. When you're not dancing or you're not studying, what is Cassidy doing with her spare time? That's a great question. Right now, not much of anything, <laughs> but usually I like to hang out with my friends. I like to hang out with my mom. Got a cute dog, so, you know, hang out with my boyfriend a little bit. Just there little things like that. It's fun stuff. Yeah, nothing too much. <laughs> All right. So is there anybody you want to give a shout out to? Any friends, teammates, instructors, anybody that just strikes your mind? Say, I want to give them a shout out. Well, everyone at Dance Mania, Melbourne, if you need a dance place to go, Dance Mania is it. Dana, I love you. You know I always have. Thank you for everything. And my mom's back there, but hi, Mom. <laughs> well, I told I told Dana and Danae that we need to get the microphone and the camera in there and start covering some of the kids and stuff. Mm -hmm. So maybe you can roll down there with me some yeah. days and we can get some fun interviews, get these kids on our little peeps and do some fun stuff like that. Well, Cassidy, I appreciate you taking the time to come down here, and I appreciate your mom coming too. Hi, Mom. <laughs> So uh, anything else you want to add? Or? No, thank you so much for having me. And as always, go Bulls. <laughs> go Bulls. So for Cassidy Cutshaw, I'm Tracy Rayum, and this is 321 Sportscast. Stay tuned for more dance action coming up.